Well, John, you've obviously had the chance to review and reflect Saturday's game. What do you think the key areas are to improve on? Yeah, the the reflection on watching the game back uh, Saturday night and yesterday was that um, you know the, what we felt at the time was an accurate reflection. I thought we we played very well. There were some real positives from the game, and um, ultimately, I think Sheffield Wednesday came away really, really pleased, having I think nicked it without having too much in terms of possession or, or chances. But I think the overall picture was we need to improve on what's going on in the final third. And it's a bit more quality, it's a bit more ruthlessness. That was the difference between the two sides. That was my take immediately after the game and, and the same applies, I think, having watched it back. We largely dominated from box to box and unfortunately we just didn't quite have enough to, to unlock them because they're a really solid side. And so, yeah, those are the takeaways and, and those are the things that we'll be looking to work on going forward. That hasn't really hampered us over the past few weeks. Um, scoring goals, we've been able to do that, but um, certainly something we're going to focus on going forward. Just on Saturday as well, we saw Owen Dale out on the left and Paddy Lane on the right. How, what did you make of, sort of that, that make-up of, in the midfield? Yeah, I think, um, weirdly, that's Owen's, by his own admission, probably his strongest position. So it's not a position we've had the chance to look at him before. But with Paddy coming back into the side, I thought he's trained really well and deserved it. And I think he did really well on Saturday, showed some real glimpses of what he's all about and was, was really solid for the time that he was on the pitch. I think you know that that's Paddy's more natural position as well. So it's nice to get him there. Nice to have a look at Owen on the left and and just you know throw a few more uh, more through different problems at Sheffield Wednesday and, and sort of see how the lads dealt with that change. And just on that as well, we saw Pigs played just sort of slightly just behind Colby. What did you make of that combination? How do you think they worked together? I thought they worked really well. The, it was it was a deliberate uh, tactic in terms of keeping the same shape. So what we wanted wanted to do is keep two holding midfielders and, and keep a ten in there. And, and we asked Joe to go and do that and not get flat with Colby. We didn't want to. First of all, lose our shape, and second of all, just go direct and, and think because we've got Joe Piggott and Colby Bishop up front, we're just going to go f direct, 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 direct and not try and play. And I think it worked. I think we actually played some really good football and we played through Joe in some of those areas and in some of those spaces. And I thought he was really effective. It was great to see him in his, his first start since I've been in. I thought he was, he was very good. It's a double game week this week, two ma away matches for the boys. So how important is it to, to get preparation uh, and the balance of recovery correct this week? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It's, it's preparation, but it's not a huge amount of physical work when we're, we're out on the training pitch. And it's a lot of work in the, in the classroom uh, for want of a, a better use of the, the room next door. And, and then, yeah, some, some walkthroughs out on the pitch. We just make sure that they get everything out of their legs from Saturday and, and get really as physically prepared as possible. And then also make sure we, we tick all the boxes with Atkinson. So it's, it's quite difficult with the double, double game weeks, especially when two of them are away. And as far as Atkinson are as well, we, we just don't have a huge amount of time in the training pitch. We have to be really wary of the travel and the amount of downtime that the boys have. So, yeah, really, it's, it's just a case of balancing those two off and making sure we're as prepared as possible for tomorrow night. And just to follow on from that one, can we expect sort of many changes tomorrow to keep the side fresh from Saturday? Yeah, again, we've been looking at, in, at that in the office and, and we think that, that changes are probably uh, going to going to come in in terms of freshness of, with legs and there's a few players that have been champing at the bit ready to perform and so it's really good to be able to give those opportunities as well so yeah we'll, we'll be looking at that and, and I think it's a real possibility that you see some fresh faces on the pitch. Ronan Curtis went for his scan last Thursday what's the latest with him? Yeah I, Ronan's set for surgery I think next week so nothing that we didn't know on the scan uh, the ACL is is, um, is torn and that takes surgery and it's sort of a six to nine month injury. So I think Ronan came in uh, on Friday and he's got his head around it. He's been great around the boys. He, he knows what the, the task is ahead of him and we're sure he comes back stronger. And you mentioned last week that Jay Mingy had a slight setback in his recovery. How's he doing? Is he sort of set to return any anytime soon? Yeah, Jay's OK. He's, he's back in the fold and, and back and ready for selection. And just finally, you've Accrington tomorrow. Just to focus on them, what so sort of threat do you think they're going to pose? Uh, Accrington are always always a really good side at, at home and they've been in this, this league for a long, long time and uh, they they constantly pose, I think, a threat, whether they're um, home or away and they've got some really good players and they're overachieving, I would say, and, and John Coleman's got them um, really firing and, and they're always exactly, I think, what you expect from Accrington and a bit more, so they're aggressive, they're well organised, um, they play on the front foot but they also can play a bit of football as well, so we expect a, a good Accrington side up tomorrow, tomorrow evening.